All right. So good morning and welcome to our another recorded lecture, uh, lecture video for our subject office uh, simulation. No, uh, previously, no, I gave you an activity in which you will all assume no, that you are applying for a job position as an executive secretary. No, in which the instruction is you will submit your intention to apply through an email. Okay, so uh, the activity no, is a simulation assuming that you are applying for a uh, job position. Okay, and the reason why I do that first no, is because I wanted to check your prior knowledge or I wanted to see how you would apply on your own. Okay, no, so that when I give you feedback, no, I can provide you feedback about the things no, that you did well and about the things that, that you did differently. No, so that the next time that you will uh really apply no on on the real scenario you already know what to do okay and uh you know be, be, uh you know because you know what from your your application email itself no if you properly or if you professionally do it no you will have a better chance uh to be accepted no in your application okay so for this lecture i will share with you different tips no, that you can consider when you are sending your application via email. No, take note that that the that the tips that I will share with you no are based on my observations. No, from your submitted applications from our uh, previous activity. No, so how we properly or how we professionally send our job application via email. No, since majority of the the requirement strategy of most companies nowadays is via online no so i will uh, give you tips on how you can professionally or properly send uh, your job application via email okay so the first one is by using a proper uh, email address okay so kapag kapag magse-send kayo ng application via email no make sure that the email address that you will use no is a proper or a professional uh, email address no now what what do i mean what do i mean by saying uh, use a proper or professional email address no so syempre you should consider no using an email that uses your first and last name or your initials and last name as an email address no because you should avoid using an email address with your nickname or code names no plus number combinations or avoid using Jegemon email address no such as these types of email addresses that you can see here no on our presentation no from our previous activity no may ilan sa inyo na ito yung mga email address no that you use no on, on our simulation activity assuming that your application you are applying for a job position no and um no, this is how it will look like no, sa inbox. No? And the reason why you should avoid no, those type of email addresses is because sending an, an, an email application no, from an email address uh, such as this no, can be seen as an immediate uh, disqualification. No? Uh, can be seen as an immediate disqualification because it's improper no? or because it is unprofessional. No? That's why if uh, you still have you no know, those kind of email addresses that you are using you no know, it much be uh, it is much better you now that you now start to modify it and change it with your proper names you now you can use your first name last name at gmail.com or your first name initial last name at gmail.com no so this is the proper way of how we use uh, our names you no know, in sending an email application Okay. Now the second tip, uh, the second tip that I would like to check you now before I would like you to check you now before you send your application is to check if you correctly included or if you format your email correctly. Okay. Kapag sinabi nating properly formatted email, you no know, dapat tama ang paggamit mo ng subject line, you no know, tama ang paggamit mo ng business salutation. Uh, the body of the application email, the clo closing statement, and of course, the attachments. Okay, so let's start with the subject line. Okay, let's start with the subject line. For corporate emails, no, for corporate emails, kasi usually, 
uh, for job applications na ang binibigay na email where you can submit your application is always the corporate email. Okay? Kapag sinabi natin corporate email, always yan nakaka-receive ng iba't ibang types of business related emails. Now meaning palaging sabog ang inbox niyan. Okay? So um Yan. So what I'm showing here no, is an example of how an inbox of a corporate email looks like. Okay, So this is a screenshot from one of my corporate emails no, being used for my uh, digital content marketing gig. No? And the reason why I'm showing this image is that I, I want you to focus on the subject line. Okay, So what can you notice? No? If a corporate email receives a lot of emails... No, the very first thing na tinitingnan ng magbabasa niya or mag-open ng email na yan is the subject line. Bakit? No, yan yung naka-highlight na nakikita ninyo. Okay? It is because the subject line will indicate the importance and the content of your email. Okay? Dahil sa sobrang dami ng nare-receive na email, so na corporate email, no, ako what I'm doing is nag eliminate ako ng mga hindi importante. Dahil corporate email ang gamit ko, if in case that the email that I'm receiving is business related, no, always na may subject line yan. Okay? Kaya ako what I'm doing, once I open my corporate email and I receive emails with no subject line, no, I click the, text na, the, the tick box sa gilid, yung box na makikita nyo sa gilid, kiklik ko yung mga walang subject line, then I will remove it from my inbox ng sabay-sabay. No, kasi in, in corporate email, usually the emails that you will re receive are all corporate emails. And for corporate emails, it's proper for you to include a subject line. No, kaya kapag may nare-receive akong emails without a subject line, no, makikita naman natin kung walang subject line. Katulad nito, uh, ito yung nakalagay na no subject. Ibig sabihin walang subject. So somehow, maybe it is not business related. No, so ang ginagawa ko for those types of emails na walang subject lines, Now that I'm receiving in my corporate email is nire-remove ko siya or nire-reject ko siya kasi uh, for exa dito example na to kunwari no uh, may mga subject lines so sabihin marami akong re-replyan now for me to eliminate my time no or para uh, ma-maximize ko yung time ko tatanggalin ko yung mga hindi related no and usually ang mga tinatanggal is yung mga walang subject lines okay now and, and the reason why I'm saying you this no is because I want to tell you no if in case you submitted your job application via email no without a subject line no there is a high possibility na hindi i-check or hindi i-process ang application mo okay kasi from uh, just from eliminating uh, emails with no subject line subject uh, with no subject line palang rejected ka na kaagad re rejected na agad ng application mo no kasi uh, Uh, kasi hindi na magkakaroon ng opportunity no para ma-open and ma-review yung email na sinend mo just because of without you um, adding uh, a subject line no kasi based on your submitted email applications no nung nakarang activity natin no karamihan karamihan sa inyo ay walang subject line no you have to take note that the subject line is important because it will tell the recipient of the email what's in your email okay Because an email with a subject line will help the hiring manager or will help the hiring staff no, to determine if they will open or if they will delete the email. Okay? So ano-ano ba, ano -ano ba yung mga possible na subject line no, that you can use for your email application? Okay? So we have uh, your first name, your last name, then the word application. Okay? Or you can possibly use application for what kind of position you are applying for. And job application for what what position you're applying for. Now, so this these are uh, the most common no subject lines being used for job application. Okay, so once again, when you email your job application letter, no, it is important that you will consider including a subject line, no, to make sure that the hiring manager will open and read your email no kasi when a hiring manager is scanning their inbox no the first thing na una na, na unang uh, una nilang tinitingnan is the subject line no along with your with your name and email address okay so the decision to read or delete an email ultimately depend on the subject line no which means it's 
um, it is your chance no, to make a first impression. No? Sa subject line pa lang gumagawa ka na kaagad ng, ng first impression. Okay? So aside from the subject line, Okay. Yeah, aside from the subject line, no, the next thing that you should properly check is your business salutation. Okay. So, um, this is what I noticed, no, sa karamihan sa inyo, majority of you don't know how to properly use an email, no. Majority is nagattach lang ng curriculum vitae and ng application letter without introducing kung ano man ang meron dun sa email na yon. Okay, wala nang uh, subject line, wala pang kahit anong uh, body of the email or wala nang kahit anong salutation, basta lang nag-attach ng file. No? Um, in terms of uh, business salutation, no, na kung saan, on the posting that I gave you, no, is I intentionally did not include the name of the contact person or the hiring manager who will process the application. Okay? In that way, no um, in that way na kung saan hindi nakalagay or hindi naka-indicate ang pangalan no ng makaka-receive ng application email nyo there are two ways that you can do okay the first is to find an actual person to address in your email okay and how you can do that no you can take a look at the company website kung merong website na nilagay if in case the company website is indicated on the posting no you have to check it Okay, so that you can identify the name of the supervisor or the director or the manager who will oversee the application. Okay? If in case naman na wala kayong mahanap na pangalan or hindi nyo makita sa website or hindi nyo makita kasi walang website, no, it's totally fine no, or para sigurado no, to make sure. No, the other way on how you can do that is to use the safest salutation which is just type in Dear Hiring Manager. Okay, so if the name is not indicated on the job posting and if you you have not been able to find any information for a specific name, no, ang pinaka safest way to address your recipient is by, is just by simply writing down dear hiring manager. Okay? Now let's go with the body of your email, no? Or uh yung in application, tinatawag natin siyang application letter or the cover letter. Okay? In sending an application via email, no, it will also require you to include no an application letter which is sometimes called no the cover letter. Okay? In writing an application letter or cover letter, there are also two ways on how you can do that. Okay? The first is writing the application letter as the body of the email, okay? And the second is writing the application letter as a standalone document or printed and mailed, okay? Kapag ang job application nyo is to be submitted via email, okay? The application letter will serve as the body of the email itself. Okay? Kapag ang, ang job application naman is to be personally submitted sa office or ipapadala via snail mail or LBC or ipapaprint ninyo, then you have to submit it personally. Then it should be in a document format, format because it needs to be printed. Uh, it needs to be a printed document. Okay? To make it clear, if the application will be submitted via email, no, the body of your email itself, yun na yung ating application letter. That's the application letter or that's already your cover letter. Now, there's no need for you to create on another document and attach it. Now, because the body of the, the email itself that you will forward to the email address, yun na yung ating application email. Okay? And when it comes to the format, no, magkaiba ang format ng pagsusulat ng application letter via email sa format ng application letter uh, to be printed. Okay? Now, to show you an example, you know, to show you an example, so this is just one of uh yeah one of the examples of how you write no an application letter via email okay so of course hindi dapat mawawala yung subject line no in the name of the recipient okay and when writing the body of the email okay you have to keep your message short because a proper application email should be short and direct only no include including the the most relevant information about your interests no, about your intention to apply and why you should be considered 
uh, why why you should be considered as an applicant no and why uh, you uh, you are worth of their checking and review no kasi you have to take note na kapag sobrang haba ng application email mo no baka the hiring manager or the employer no reading a lot of applications uh, might be discouraged by your long and wordy message no no especially if they have a lot of other applications to review Okay, and another important thing, no, below your email, you should also include your phone number and your email address, no, because it will pro uh, provide employees with readily available access, no, to your contact details if in case they would be needing uh, ng, ng details mo, no, mas madali nilang makikita, no, mas madali nilang mahahanap. Okay, so this is how um, an application letter or a cover letter Uh, na isasubmit nyo via email would look like no na kung saan ang i-attach na lang is the curriculum vitae okay kapag yung application niya naman is kailangan yung i-submit personally or you need to uh, you need to print out uh, the, the the resume or the application letter meron siyang ibang format na sinusunod and yung yun, yung yung format for the application letter or to be printed na application letter yun yung kung paano tayo gumagawa ng letter no na merong inside address no merong uh, uh, recipients information or details then uh, salutation so on and so forth no so uh, when it comes to sending an application via email no this is how it will look like no or this is just an example okay next Okay. And of course, no, don't forget to attach your attachment or your resume, no, or your curriculum vitae in particular. Okay? Kasi kadalasan ang nangyayari, no, katulad nitong mga memes, uh, memes na ito, no, na nakikita natin sa our nilagay ko talaga siya sa ating uh, presentation, no. Uh, kasi kadalasan ang nangyayari, no, you are confident with the email na isa-send mo. No, then you are excited to click the send button, no, just for you to find out na nakalimutan mo palang i-attach ang uh, CV mo or nakalimutan mo palang i-attach yung yung resume mo no Be uh, because it is very off no nakaka-off siya if in case you forgot to attach your attachments no then you send another email apologizing because you forgot the, the attachment to attach the attachment no then sending uh, that file on another email no kumpara parang less points na yan for your for your application okay so um Next is, uh, let's say na-attach mo nga ng maayos or naisama mo uh, ang attachment mo sa pag-send mo ng email. The next thing to consider is, have you checked the attachment's uh, file name? Okay? Now, because you have to make sure now that the file name for your attachments are appropriate and correctly labeled. No? As a tip, when writing the file name of your CV or your resume, now, consider placing your last name in front No, of the document file, no, let's say last name uh, resume or last name CV or last name application, no, because by doing that, it can appear more professional, no, and it, it can also be helpful for the hiring staff, no, to uh, to reference, no, if they should download or save your application document for further checking and review, okay, and also another important tip for attachments. Consider converting your attachments to PDF file. Okay? Kasi based on experience, now when you convert your Word document into PDFs, now you can increase the likelihood of a clear, uh, easy-to-read application. Now, and much better if the, if the attachment is on PDF file. No? Uh, kasi may mga possibilities that the employer or the hiring staffs are using a different type of computer. No or software program no na pwedeng ma-alter how your documents appear no when your word documents are opened on their computer no kasi kung word uh, word file no ms word uh, may mga instances na pag tiningnan sa ibang computer nag-iiba ang placements ng mga contents sa word no and nagiging magulo tingnan no that's why you should also consider converting your attachments to pdf Okay, so that is basically, no, that is basically how we professionally send our application via email, no?
no, kung, kung, kung titingnan natin, simpleng bagay lang siyang tingnan, pero kung tutuusin, uh, it is really important no, for us to consider uh, these things or those things no, that I mentioned uh, for you to have a higher chance of being accepted no, in the position that you are applying for. No? Kasi kung iti-check nyo yung, uh, yung nauna yung way, ng pagsisend ng application via email, no, there are a lot of things that needs improvement. No, and if you send your application that way, no, uh, hindi tayo sigurado. We're not sure if you will be accepted or rejected. No, and by following those steps no, as necessary professional components for uh, sending your job applications via email, no, mapapataas na yung chance nyo for you to increase no, the possibility na magtuloy-tuloy ka sa hiring process. Okay, and here in office simulation, it is important for you no, to know how to properly write or to properly send your application via email, no, because it could uh, most likely serve as the first impression, no, uh, first impression the hiring manager will have of you, no, kaya importante for you to demonstrate your professionalism, no, by writing a clear, by writing a concise and error-free, no, application. Okay, that will compels the hiring employers or staff no, to take a closer look at your cover letter or resume attachment. Okay? And for our graded simulation activity no, in regards to recruitment and application, no, please be updated with our group chat because I will be sending there no, a, job, a job application opportunity posting in which you need to submit your application. Okay?